Thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the Scottish Government what the implications for Scotland would be of the abolition of the Human Rights Act by the UK Government. Cabinet Secretary Alex Neil. Thank you, Presiding Officer. The Scottish Government's position is that implementation of the Conservative Government's proposals would require legislative consent and that this Parliament should make clear that such consent will not be given. On the 11th of November last year, this Parliament passed a motion in support of the Human Rights Act by a majority of 100 to 10. There is currently insufficient detail in what is proposed to predict the impact on Scotland with any certainty. However, given the almost unanimous opposition in this Parliament and among Scottish MPs at Westminster, it would remain open to exclude Scotland from legislation to repeal the Human Rights Act or for the Scottish Government to pass legislation to give effect to a range of rights and policy areas which are within devolved competence. If the UK Government were to follow through on its threats to withdraw from the European Convention on Human Rights, people in Scotland would no longer be able to take cases to the European Court of Human Rights. The ECHR is the world's most successful human rights treaty and has been hugely influential around the world. I think it's incumbent on this Parliament to send a clear message that these proposals are unacceptable and will not receive our support. Mark MacDonald. I'm grateful to the Cabinet Secretary for his comprehensive answer. Um, given that in 2013, the percentage of cases in, Stras in which Strasbourg ruled against the UK totaled a measly 0.48%, does the Cabinet Secretary agree that what we are seeing here is a case that is built on sand uh, and is actually extremely dangerous posturing by this Conservative government? Cabinet Secretary. Yeah, Presiding Officer, we believe as a Scottish Government that the European Court of Human Rights fulfils an essential function as part of the ECHR system. It is essential that citizens have the right to petition the Strasbourg Court where they feel their rights have been breached. The statistics demonstrate that rulings against the UK are comparatively rare, which is not reflected in some of the rhetoric we see around this issue. Mark MacDonald. I thank the Cabinet Secretary for his answer. The Cabinet Secretary has also highlighted that he considers that this chamber would need to be uh, asked to give consent uh, through legislative consent motions uh, and also that he would be minded to recommend that we refuse such consent. Has he received any indication as yet from the UK Government that they would seek consent from this chamber via legislative consent motions at this stage? Cabinet Secretary. Presiding officer, we haven't received any information about the intentions of the UK Government. Obviously, the Queen's speech will uh, take place in uh, the next two weeks or so, and hopefully, uh, in or around the Queen's speech, we'll get more details of what the, the Conservative Government proposes. 